Welcome guys to Pop Up College Shop. Today we're gonna be reacting to um, Small Ant's video. He posted a little bit saying that he trapped three <laughs> pokey tubers in a escape room and let's see if they could get out. Voila. TV magic. I trapped three Pokemon YouTubers in a custom made Pokemon Fire Red prison, where the only way out is to solve some incredibly challenging Pokemon puzzles. Which Poketuber will escape the fastest? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Alright. Oh, that's better than what I thought. I thought he put them all in the same room. No, they're all doing the, their own room at their own pace by themselves. Because I thought three brains are better than one, so I thought he sort of might have scaled it that way. But this is more fun. Hey, what do we got? Smeargle. Sketch helping hand mirror code counter. Okay. Follow me. Defense grow swift seismic toss. Okay, shiny. I guess let's check out the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, move Pokemon. Is there anything in the PC? Oh, oh, okay. Skitty will absolutely grab that. Payday assist. Okay, so I feel like if there's any money grinding here, I, I'm like already theory crafting all the possibilities and I don't really like what they all kind of turn to. In addition to the Skitty, there was a smoke ball in the PC. Okay. A super rod from a fisherman. I'm gonna try to fish the answers out of you. <laughs> and an interesting NPC. I like you have a useful hidden machine for a hundred bucks. Okay, so I gotta get a hundred dollars. With that, they had found every resource available to them. Now, they had to figure out what the heck to do. Let's try fishing. Level 100 seeking. Well, I did not equip the smoke ball, so whoops. This could be a challenging battle. Seeking then fainted all of his Pokemon with Waterfall, sending him back to the Pokemon Center. Alpharad and Frank both tried the one trainer battle that was available. I'm still on mute. Okay, gee, a team of six? There's no way. What am I? What? Am I, I can't win this. I went in here with the intention of wife, and I think I'm going to succeed in that. So, so far things are going good. Mewtwo's Psychic and Absol's Razor Wind was too much for their weakling Pokemon to handle. After looking around a bit more, Yan and Frank stumbled upon something new. Oh my god, you're not making me do a Reggie puzzle right now. Come on. This is Braille. Are you serious? There's built-in hints, but you gotta work for them a little bit. So they spent the next 10 minutes decoding <laughs> some hints. I don't need psychic, tackle, snore, hand, mirror, counter, curl, swift, seismic. Okay. So literally the only thing I have to concern myself with is sketch on Smeargle, follow me on Togepi, baton pass, and snore is not the solution. What does this say? more braille okay paddling is not always the correct way forwards okay um okay plan i'm gonna lead skitty and togepi we're gonna follow me which will allow me to get the payday off and then i'm gonna send in smeargle who's going to try to maybe sketch the payday sounds like a bad that's one thing i come up with because <laughs> i was like uh not the biggest not the biggest pokemon Oh, buff, but I do know that works. <laughs> Battle to me. Cause uh, this upcoming year, I'm debating whether I want to play the, whether I want to play the card game or the video game competitively for the second half. Dabbling, dabbling. I know it's better off if you start now. Cause then you have the full year to get points and stuff. But I'm gonna start during the summer. I don't know if I really want to do the card game or the video game. Both pretty good. Both have their own strategies. Both pretty solid. I just don't know how to. I will lean more towards the cards because the cards are easier to do. Cards are easier to obtain, and I don't know how hard. I don't know how long or long hard or long or hard it is to actually like grind out to get the perfect teams for the VGC. Wolfie, this is a question for you. But back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to do. There's like, there's nothing in the overworld though. All right, so is there anything I can do besides battling Sea Kings or battling the double battle right now? Is there anything in the Poke Center I missed maybe? I was just trying to get money. Sketching Razor Winds. How is that gonna kill anything, right? Battling's not always the way forward, that's true. Frank and Jan were stumped. What about Alpharad though? What was he up to? I guess I could just dodge this by bringing one Pokemon. Okay, let's drop everything in the box. Uh, well, we have Payday Skitty, so we can make some money there. Just because I don't think I can scrap with uh, the level 100 Mewtwo. Oh my god, come on. So the Payday strat does not work. I see. Alpharad just figured out the first step without the hints. But since Payday doesn't affect Sableye, he had another puzzle to solve. Which could give the other two a chance to catch up. Wait, I'm so dumb. Yeah. Okay, you said it didn't require a battle, but I, I just remembered I can trigger them individually. So I gotta drop off two of these guys. 
Oh my god, there's no way. Come on. I thought I thought it would still go on. Okay. Wow. We've been here for an hour. <laughs> I just want to point out really quick, you got into this grass in six minutes. Every single person to have done this escape room so far, and I think there's seven, no one has got past the twins in under 30 minutes. Oh my god, <laughs> that's incredible. Everyone forgets. The next step was obvious to everyone. Okay, rock smash. So the goal is still to get 100 bucks. So, okay, we need to payday. I understand I have to get $100. I, I have all the pieces, I'm just so blind to see how they work. 100 poke dollars for the HM. In this situation, how can you even get that? Using the hints, the solution could include a smear goal with sketch, which permanently steals a move, a skitty with payday to get money, and assist to randomly use a party member's move, and or a tokopi with follow me. Then there's the Sableye. You can only use one of them against that Sableye because of the twins. Also, why is there a smoke ball? It, why have that murderous fishing excursion? It's a lot to think about, but just this information, there is a solution hiding in there. I'll give you an extra hint if you want to try and figure it out before they do. The Tokobi is- I don't know. <laughs> you gave me like 20 minutes, dude. I cannot solve this. <laughs> even required yet. Its importance comes a bit later. While you think about it, let's see what they tried. So let's see what kind of moves this thing has. Oh wait, I could just look it up. Leer, Scratch, Foresight, and Nightshade. Foresight. I think that makes us hit ghost types with normal type attacks. So the goal is to get Foresight and Payday onto one Pokemon. Oh, wait a minute. Smeargle. It learns Sketch at every level that ends in one. If I can get experience onto this, counter's not gonna work on it, obviously. But if I sketch foresight first, I'm gonna try this. So if I do this now, that works. Whoa. I can grind like this. Okay, hold on. This might not be the correct solution, but I'm escaping this escape room. <laughs> All right, we get the level up. Do we get sketch? We do. All right, sick. Give me this over helping hand. And then the goal is to sketch Payday. This would not work. And then I will sketch my own Skitty. Don't hit Smeargle. Or don't hit either of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, attack Absol, please! Uh, oh, yeah. Over in Alparad's brain, his first idea was the exact solution. Okay, okay, no, no, I, I see everything now. I see the code. The two trainers cannot fight you if you have one Pokemon, but even if you have one fainted Pokemon, that's still fine. They won't trigger it. I need to have Smeargle in the back and then have it be dead by grinding on Seeking. I run away using the Smoke Ball, and now we should be able to walk through? Yeah. Then I get to Foresight through Assist, grind pay I got it. No, no, I got it. Oh, it feels good. Coin scattered everywhere. So much money. Ooh, oh, that's big time money. 285. Alpharad finished the first section in like 15 minutes. The other two did eventually figure it out. Okay, another way to get past the double battle is not to deposit your Pokemon, but to faint them. Oh, that is so sleek. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Rock Smash. Cool. Jan took 45 minutes, and Frank took 90. Needless to say, Alpharad had a massive lead going into section 2. An impossible lead to throw away, right? Well, you'll see. Going into section 2, there were three NPCs. One wanted a Tokopi for a Stantler, another wanted a Smeargle for a Wobbuffet, as for the third, she was a trainer. My muck ate a Moonstone, and I can't get it out. Uh, alright, yeah, sure, let's battle. I'm assuming I have to win this one. Um, oh yeah, just the muck. There were also some new hints that everyone found, even Alpharad this time. Okay, let me let me learn to spree Grail real quick. Only swap the shiny if you have the hidden strength. That is a riddle. That does not help me in the slightest. Okay, the twins are vital, but you will never beat them. Muck. Has Dig? Mimic? Oh, these are- oh, you're just- okay, you're laying out the moves. I see you. And that's everything there is to see in this section. It's clear the final goal was to use strength somehow, but it was up to them to figure it out. Alpharad had his massive head start, of course, so he did some experimenting. He traded the Smeargle for the Wobbuffet, then immediately attempted the Muck Trainer. Uh, maybe I just kill it. Maybe she just wants me to murder her little pet. Yeah, we'll Destiny Bond here, and, and we watch it go down. And we still have a Pokemon in the back. Did I get the Moonstone? I don't know. He discovered that defeating the Muck accomplished nothing. Frank and Jan also tried the Wobbuffet trade, but they noticed an important detail. He's got a TM. 
Oh, it's protect. Oh my god, how did I miss that? I mean, I guess with protect we could stall out the digs. It also would allow us to have this faint, the Abzol, or maybe even the Mewtwo with Destiny Bond. Probably the Abzol. Having a TM for protect unlocked a whole host of new opportunities. Without- Going right through my head. I'm not a po- <laughs> I wish I could say I was Pokemon head. I do, do you guys see this? I don't see this. It, it would be nearly impossible to progress. I can't, I'm just gonna try to kill it again. I don't know why I think it's gonna be different this time. Uh, Alpha really wasn't going anywhere until he noticed that held item. The others started to piece some things together. Oh, okay, so you're not so you're not supposed to win that battle. Don't see as of yet how I would get the Moonstone off of Muck. Like I haven't seen Thief or what, what's like. Okay, maybe what, let me look at what are some other like item. Trick, Covet, Switcheroo, and Thief. Skitty might get Covet. Damage dealing, normal type move. Steals the target's held item if it's holding any. The target's not holding an item. Got it. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? Skitty can. So if Skitty gets Covet here, yeah, at level 31, how would I get the XP from that? Frank and Yon realized they did have access to an item stealing move. They just needed to figure out how to level up that Skitty quickly. Yon was the fastest to work it out. I mean, the twins are vital, but I will never beat them. He taught Skitty Protect and challenged the twins. From his previous experience with them, he knew that Mewtwo only used Psychic and Absol only used Razor Wind, a two-turn move. This meant that he could use Follow Me with Togepi to redirect the Psychic to it, allowing Wobbuffet to safely use Destiny Bond, which would eliminate the next Pokemon. Then he could use Protect to keep Skitty healthy while Wobbuffet dragged down the level 100, giving Skitty an enormous amount of EXP all at once, and having it learn Covet with just three battles like this. Frank took an extra 20 minutes or so, but he did get there. There we go. Come on. Covet. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. We're in this. Alpha Red, on the other hand, was 30 minutes deep on this step. Oh, I'm so lost. Like, I'm helplessly lost. The Protect TM had been on his screen several times. He just hadn't noticed it. He did think of the Covet idea, but of course, without Protect, there was no easy way to get it. So I, I respect you a lot, and I'm thinking of all these things that I could do, but I'm... I keep arguing with myself of like, he wouldn't make me do that. You wouldn't make me grind this level 19 Skitty to level 30 because you respect and value my time. You were right about me respecting right. okay. your time. It took him another few minutes, but he did find it at long last. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. I am mad. I am <laughs> so mad. Oh my God. I am so mad. That's too bad. That is too da that is too damn bad. Ah, uh, you do respect my time, don't you? I do respect your time. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Yon was catching up to Alpha Rad fast, and Frank wasn't too far behind either. They all knew what the next step was. I'm gonna bring the Skitty into the muck battle, protect spam until it clicks mimic, and I'm gonna click Covet, and I'm gonna pray. Okay. Ah. Of course. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? The sticky hold? You pulled the sticky hold. Oh, come on. They were all wrong. Sticky hold muck made it so its moonstone couldn't be stolen. They needed to figure out something else first. Fortunately for Frank and Jan, they were very perceptive while fighting the twins and were able to reconsider the objective. The secret to our power are Pokemon all have strength. Oh. Are they holding the item strength? Honestly, if, if this if this works, we get the HM here. I, I think I got the entire rest of it solved. Come on, come on, come on. Give me strength, give me strength. Yeah, okay, there it is. Conversely, Alpha Red was feeling a little lost. So what the f do I need to do with Muck? I kill, okay, so I cannot, I 100%- Jan and Frank had found the hidden strength and following the hints, knew they could now oh, trade the shiny Togepi for the Stantler in the final step of the puzzle. Man, what the hell is hidden strength? Okay, okay, I want you to tell me one thing. Yes. Do I already have it? No. Yeah, that's not as helpful as I thought it would be. <laughs> Frank already knew that Stantler could learn strength and was about to escape when... We also have access to strength. I'm assuming we can give him. Hello? You would really think that Stantler learns strength, right? Alpharad actually tried fighting twins again. Dude, I never read dialogue. <laughs> it's my <laughs> curse. Uh, we use Covet, Mewtwo. I see that and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I would miss that. With only the final step remaining, literally anyone could win this race now.
It all came down to who finds the final solution the fastest. Why the hell do I even need to get the Moonstone? So the Moonstone obviously evolves Skitty. So the Moonstone is what gives me the Pokemon that learns Strength. What is the Stantler for? The Stantler is obviously the solution to get this Moonstone. Well, so now we have the Stantler, which means we now have access to role play if we level him up. What is the purpose of this move? Yeah, you don't know the role that it plays. No, no, I don't. Replaces the user's ability with the target's ability. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, oh, I get it. Let's do it. We got it. We got it. This is it. Stall out dig from Muck. He cannot damage anymore. We can, we're free to go to Stantler. Mimic's gonna fa fail. Mm. Yep. And now we can just role play. Uh, let's do it one more time. There he goes. Yeah, he can have role play. He will take my Q charm, getting rid of Sticky Hold, and then now we're gonna covet stealing the Moonstone from his dirty mouth. I have all this. I did not know that's always how Skitty's evolved, actually. I didn't know that. Like, the whole time I was saying, like, none of my Pokemon even evolved with a Moonstone. Oh my, I feel like this whole puzzle would have been so much easier if I knew at the end, if I saw that, I was like, I gotta evolve Skitty. It would be even easier if you checked the Hall of Fame. I'm a little shocked I didn't do that. Well, there you have it, I think. There you go, you did it, you Damn. escaped! Congratulations, you complete the escape room. That's Hell time, yeah. you did it! Oh, okay, the end. there we go! Would you like to know how you've done? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Asteroid, just under four hours. Whoa. You, two hours, 27 minutes. Mm -hmm. And Pokemon Challenges was the other person to do this. So he did it, just under two hours. Damn. Oh, I hate losing a yawn. Yeah. <laughs> Genshin Impact needs no introduction. It's taken the... <laughs> that's the next video. <laughs> I don't even think. Yeah, that's the next video, guys. <laughs> We're watching Jaden next. <laughs> um, yeah. Enjoyed the puzzles. I would never be able to solve it. Not in my wildest dream. I would need to be. I would need to be way more educated in the game, and like abilities and all that such. I, that's why. That's why I'm for the second challenge for this half of this year. Um, I would probably lean towards the TCG as opposed to the BGC. Um, uh, so trading card game as opposed to the video game. Competition. Chipping, chipping. Let me know what competition you guys would do. Did you guys enjoy that puzzle? I did not. I. It's just for other people. <laughs> I was like, oh, the thumbnail. I thought the thumbnail was pretty tight, so I'll give it a gander. Um. Uh. Did you guys enjoy it? Uh. What video should I react to next? Because I pretty much watched a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. I am not picking on the content. And um. And yeah, take it easy. <laughs> I was like, what was, that? what was number three? I typically say take it easy. Take care, guys.